Institutions in Washington and New York. We knew they were covert, but we knew they were there. These were complex and ciphered and coded messages, but when we were able to break those messages, we learned various interesting things about what KGB was up to. One of these messages explains in their own words what Julius Rosenberg was doing. That's how we knew he was stealing secrets, because they said he was stealing secrets. We couldn't use that information to prosecute him because they would have realized we were reading their messages and then they would have changed their system and we would have lost, uh, you know, lost the ability to read it. So they had to sat, sit on that until they found another way to show how they knew what he was up to before he was finally arrested, prosecuted, and executed. The project began about 1943, continued <coughs> actively till about 1970, residual work all the way to 1980. NSA has published a book through the government printing office, Declassified Messages, 100 of these Venona messages. Very interesting reading. Some of them will have blank spots like that one there where it says 15 groups unrecoverable. Realize since it involves a code, you get a code piecemeal and gradually fill out your, your, your understanding of it, but in that case they hadn't gotten it all at the time they, they read that message. 